Hi, in this video we're looking at one of the best hidden gems for GTA completionists. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto V and GTA Online are insanely large and complicated with literally hundreds of different mechanics and quality of life features. Given the vast quantity of things throughout the game, it's nigh impossible to find and remember them all. So in this series, we're taking you through some of the most awesome features in GTA that you probably might not know about. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ring the bell to stay up to date. Did you know that Rockstar allow you to see everything you've not done in story mode and online? I've been in this game for years and missed it every time I logged in. And what I'm talking about is the career checklist, which you can see on screen here. Now we've all likely seen our feed, and possibly our wall, and even our stat screen, which takes you through individual character achievements. But I'd hazard only a small percentage of players have ventured beyond here. So, how do we get into our career checklist? So the first thing we need to do is head over to socialclub.rockstargames.com and you should be presented with something that looks similar to this one. Head over to the sign in link and that will take you through and let's just throw my username and password in here. I'm using 1Password as a password carrier so that it's all nice and secure. And I'm also using two-factor authentication, which I highly, highly recommend to prevent your account from being hijacked. All right, and that'll take us straight through to your feed. All right, now what we want to do then is go to Games, then a GTA 5, then Story, then it should drop you straight into your career with your overview where you can see Michael, Trevor, and Franklin, and of course your own player there, and then into the checklist. And you can see here, I've got 550 hours in game, and we can see the percentages of progress for each item to get my 100%. So I've got all of the, the missions there, they're all done. We've got 20 of the 61 available pastimes, most of the strangers and freaks taken care of and we've got a few more videos coming up for that we've completed 14 of the 26 random events and of course we've got eight of the 30 miscellaneous things that we can do in the site now the keen eyed of you may notice that some of these have borders and some don't anything with a border on it contributes to the same color up here so for example we've got these ones here uh have borders on the left hand side and they because they're a green border contribute to the hobbies and pastime and to get our 100% we need to complete every single one of these with the border we don't necessarily have to worry about the ones that don't have the border same goes for the miscellaneous activities as well now most of these are fairly easy to get through too so there's no stress there but we've got 8 of 30 you can see the ones with the border there will also contribute to the ones up here but that's not the real trick for this one. The absolute party trick for this website is this map down the bottom. It is your found, not found events. So we've got here on the left, the strangers and freaks, random events, the letter scraps and the spaceship parts. And you can see there, some of these are good to go, all the yellow ones. But what's really important here is if we uncheck that one and check on not found, it now goes through everything on the system or everything in the game that we have yet to achieve. And what's really, really good is if we zoom out, we can see absolutely everything and then we can see more or less where everything is. So let's uh, take a look at the spaceship parts, for example. So we'll uncheck the three that we're not interested in and then we can scroll, just keep moving this around. It's not, not too similar to, to Google Maps. We can see there with a reasonable degree of accuracy, we can see where this spaceship part is. And that says even mouse over and it will say where it is precisely. So that is in the boathouse. So that, in my opinion, is this thing's party trick. It will tell you precisely where everything that you haven't found is so that you can go and get it straight away without faffing about spending hours looking for things or hours looking for random events. So we can chuck that back on. There we go. And we can see precisely what else we need to achieve, which I think is absolutely amazing. So what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers or would you like to see us cover something specific? Leave your comment down below and check out the video on the left for some more tips or the one on the right for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.